was at um, the BMX, uh, the BMX uh, uh, venue, and all these different places. And accessibility in every single design has been considered. So when you go into the athlete's village, you know, village that we built on land that wasn't, uh, you know, prepared to be used until 2025, we accelerated that land use, developed a brand new city, a uh, brand new part in the city, the Canary District, and because of that, now we have the most accessible infrastructure in, uh, in Ontario at that site. So my point is this, is that these games have the ability to bring people together. And we have 41 countries from the Americas and, and the Caribbean that will be joining us here. And you know when they come into Ontario, they're going to find people cheering for them. You know, my father, like I said from the beginning, is from Grenada. There's more Grenadians outside of Grenada than in Grenada. You know, in Ontario here, there's probably 100,000 Grenadians. In Grenada, there's 100,000 Grenadians. So when the team from Grenada arrives in Toronto and they're competing, people will be cheering for them. For them. The, uh, the Jamaican uh, team, well, you know, 250,000 Jamaicans in Toronto. Never in the history of this planet has a place like Ontario existed. It's made up of 200 plus cultures. And when we have these athletes coming here, we'll be cheering for our Canadian athletes, but we know we'll be cheering for athletes that come from you know, the countries that we're from in many ways. And if we're not from those countries, we'll know people from those countries. And there's no better place to hold international games on the planet than the place that was built by multicultural communities. Yeah. And that's the beauty behind these games. And I, I want you to remember that because you have an important role during these games. You have an important role to connect communities, to share those great stories, and let's use it as an opportunity to, to, tell, to tell Ontarians, to tell Canadians the stories that, you know, that make, up our, make our community so great here in the city of Toronto. You know, we have a large uh, Latin Canadian community that's, uh, that's recently arrived, you know, a large population. Of course, we've had people for years uh, from uh, many of the countries, but the last 15 years, like in London, Ontario, there's 15,000 people of uh, Latino-Canadian uh, background. You know, these are the things that are happening and that we're transforming and we're in constant flux in this province. We need to figure out what those stories are, how to share them, and the best type of country we can ever build and continue to build is that, that country that Pierre Trudeau talked about where people really felt a sense of multiculturalism and we understood that if we're going to be the, you know, if we're going to continue to be the best country on this planet, we're going to have to dig, dig deep into ourselves as a multicultural community, take the best what we have to offer and incorporate it into Canadian culture. And I just want to say thank you for doing what you do because you get it, you do it every day, and uh, you're making a huge difference. So I'll stop there and uh, take questions. Thank you very much.